Whether you're a new player or a returning player, no matter what, you're always going to need some help at some point. What's going on everyone? Cruz here. Now guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over a few different tips and tricks that can help you guys out with your gems, with your eggs, with your coins, with your tokens, with your bosses, and with a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and commenting down below. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Now to start things off, obviously I'm going to want to go over the Easter event because the Easter event is actually what's currently going on at the time of this update. For you guys that aren't playing on this version or the update has went away, I'd highly recommend using the timestamps down below because you guys can use those to your advantage. But anyways, the first couple things that we're going to be looking at is going to be three different things. The first one is going to be the Easter Pass. The Easter Pass is located right here. Spawn is over there. You're just going to come behind the fountain over here to this Easter event and then you can see this thing called an Easter Pass. Now this is really, really good if you end up completing this and filling this out. Now I will be showing you guys the best method that you guys can complete this with under a day. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. But for you guys that do have Robux, I would highly recommend purchasing this area down here for the whopping 400 Robux. Yes, it does seem like a lot, but not only do you get a really, really good pet, but you'll also get a bunch of different prismatic items, and especially if you're a newer player, these will definitely help you reach those later stages of the game really, really early on. Now, the other areas that I'm going to cover is going to be these little stands right here that you can purchase for coins and gems. Now, for you guys that are looking for elite mystery eggs, I actually did make a video on this yesterday. You can head over here to this little area right here, and then you can spend 50,000 gems for 50,000 prismatic eggs or for the uh, elite mystery eggs. Now, for you guys that do need help getting gems, don't worry, I'll be going over that as well. But the Easter shop is another way to go ahead and get some early on and very much needed boosts. And then if we come over here, especially for you newer players to the game or returning visitors that just haven't played the game like that, you guys can complete this entire egg pass so you guys can go ahead and get this uh, pet right here. Now, if you guys are having troubles with the eggs, I would highly recommend either going to watch my video on it or some other YouTubers video on it because I'm not going to be talking about that in, in this video because that would just be like 20 minutes on its own and I'm not trying to make this video that long. Now remember, if you are a new player or even a returning visitor, make sure you guys are using this code right here. Now you don't really have to if you're like later, later in the game, but these boosts can definitely still help you no matter what. And make sure you guys are saving your boosts as well. If you guys look in the bottom of my screen, I have a bunch of different boosts that will help us with our coin grind, for example, which is actually going to be the next thing that I'm going to cover. For all of you new players to the game that have been asking me, how do I grind so many coins? So if we go to my inventory, you guys are just going to want to look for any pet. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a good pet. Say you guys only have a few doggies or whatever. You guys are going to want to go to this pet. Now, if you do have some shiny, like you can see, I have a shiny one and I can put charms on here. All we're going to want to do is get some of these looting charms. Now, if you guys are having issues with the looting charms, especially you new players, all you guys want to do is just come over here, beat this little tutorial area. That's pretty much all it is. Finish these quests right here, and then you guys will unlock the crafting. And then come over here, and you guys will eventually unlock the uh, King Slime. Now, if you do end up fighting the King Slime, there is a 1% chance that you will get one of these runes. So it can be a little difficult. Difficult, but you guys can also go to the shops, which I will be covering later on in today's video. But still, this is also another way to go ahead and get those coins. Now, another way that you guys can actually go ahead and get coins is going to be from fishing. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is make your way past Frosty Peaks, and we're going to want to make our way over to um, Sunset Shores, I believe. Then once we head over to Sunset Shores, all you guys are going to want to do is come over here and talk to this fisherman. Now, once you do enough of the fisherman quests, you'll, or quests, you'll start to get better and better fishing rods, but I believe once you talk to him once, you will get your first rod, which is another really, really good way to go ahead and get your guys some of the uh, coins that you guys should be looking for. Now, another good way to get a really good pet in the game is actually going to be over here, the Sea Champion. Now, for you new players to the game, it is fairly simple to get this. All you guys have to do is just catch one of every single fish in the game, not including the arcade. If I am correct, the arcade is not included in this because this did come out before the arcade update came out. So all you guys want to do is just fill this out. Now, remember that you guys will need a silver rod or higher to go ahead and catch these fish, especially the legendaries. So make sure you guys are grinding for that. Now, one other method that you guys can get from or can farm these coins apart from just coming over here and selling your fish is actually going to be over here at the Kraken. Now, I believe the Kraken gives the most amount of coins from any boss on the game or in the game. So make sure you guys are fighting these bosses as much as possible. Now, one other place that you guys can get coins. Remember, you can get coins for just like fighting enemies and um, 
catching uh, pets. But another best, best way to uh, go ahead and get these coins is going to be from the Dig Site minigame and the Dance minigame. Now, if you guys currently have the arcade unlocked, you guys can play the claw machine, but that's not going to give you coins. That's going to give you tokens, which is actually going to be the next thing I'm going to talk about. Now, once you guys make your way over to the arcade, I'm going to assume most of you guys watching this video already have a few arcade pets, but for you new players, I'd highly recommend either hatching pets or coming over here and looking for the three stars and make sure you have a full team of three stars. Because when you come to the arcade, we actually have a different coin type called the arcade coins or the tokens. Now, I do actually have a token team that increases my stuff a lot, but it don't matter. As long as you just have pets that will give you more tokens, that's all that matters. Now, the two runes that you are probably going to want is going to be the token rune because this will increase how many tokens you get. And then on top of that, you're probably going to want to pair the token rune with something called an MLG rune because if you have these both on tier 5, that is unbelievably broken. Because what token does, obviously, it's going to give you more tokens, but the MLG rune will increase your game's playtime. Now, if you do have this on level 5, the robot claw machine will go from a 43 seconds all the way up to, I believe, a 50, 50 seconds up to a minute. So if we played this machine right here, we'd be able to get a lot more rewards and a lot more coins. Now, another place that you guys can go ahead and get these tokens is actually going to be by fishing. Now, fishing isn't really the best method, but a lot of people like to use it. The most efficient method is going to be um, one that I'm going to show you guys here in one moment. But remember that fishing is always an option. If we head over here to the Hyper Lounge, I'm pretty sure this is either like three or four uh, million of the new coins. Once we go through here, all we're going to want to do is go to this Hyper Core right here. And the reason we're going to want to fight the Hyper Core is because not only can the Hyper Core yield us really good rewards, and if you guys are lucky enough to go ahead and get the new Hyper Core pet, but... Um, this will actually give us a bunch of coins. Now, for all of you guys that are wondering how I'm doing this glitch right now, I actually did make a video on it, but I will go ahead and discuss it for you guys here in one second. So all you guys are going to want to do is once you load into the game, you're just going to want to reset your avatar as soon as you click the play button. I'll show you guys what to do right after this boss fight is completed. But in the meantime, I do just want to let you guys know that I do have a Discord. So for all of you guys that are a fan of the channel and would like to join the Discord, feel free to join by using the description down below and I hope to see you guys but anyways once we go ahead and complete this you guys will see that I'll probably get around how many uh we'll say uh, 16 million okay so I got around 16.4 million uh coins and also you guys can use these potions right here I did forget to mention that I do apologize if we go to my items there is something called a uh, token elixir which will increase our tokens by 1.25 times but anyways guys to do the glitch all you guys want to do is come over here to this boss fight i'm going to go ahead and respawn them now once i press start i'm going to want to go all the way down and reset my avatar now to show you guys that this actually works you guys can see that my pets are still here i believe my pets were turned off and you can also see that his boss is uh, boss health is still up here and my hud has been taken away so if we head back to the boss fight, you guys will go ahead and see that he is actually not going to be moving. The only thing that's going to be moving is this platform from side to side. Now I'm going to show you guys the most efficient way that you guys can go ahead and get some of these gems inside of Pet Catcher Simulator. Now one of the most notable and easiest is actually going to be this exchange right here. For you guys that are new to the game, you're probably going to be playing through it as you go. So you'll probably get a few billion of these coins. Now every one billion will yield you or will give you 100 of these gems for a total of 99 billion max, which will give you a total of 9,900 gems. Now, another way to actually get an absolute crap ton of gems, and this is actually how I have so many, I can get around 200,000 in 20 minutes just doing this method. You guys are going to want to wait for a fortune event, but for you guys that don't have one, like I don't have one until 7 a.m., that is totally fine. Because what we are going to be looking for is we're going to go into our inventory, and we're going to see that we have something called a Prismatic Sunday. A few of you players should have these. I know a lot of you like players that actually actively play the game should have a few of these. But for you newer players, you typically get these as you go. So the reason we want this is because we actually not only get fortune 2, or fortune times 2, which will give us times 2 the gems, but we also get super roll, which will increase our boss drops by 4. And the reason we want this is because especially for you new players that don't have many good pets in the new area, you guys are going to want to get the new boss pet, which I believe is a 1 in 10,000 and does give you some pretty good stats. Now, if you do go ahead and pair this with a um, lucky potion down here, this, as you guys can see down here, will give you um, increased boss enemy drops by plus 1. So if you actually fight the boss on level 25, you're going to get around 30 different rewards, and yes, the gems can stack. 
Now, what I mean by this is if we come over here, you guys can see that there is a 7.5% chance of getting gems. So you can get anywhere from using this method, you can get anywhere from 2,000 per boss fight all the way up to three to 4,000 per boss fight. It all depends on your luck. And if you are using both of those potions that I showed you guys, you will get a crap ton of gems. Now remember, this will also work during the um, boss rush uh, event. You don't necessarily have to wait till fortune. I would I would recommend it. But for you guys that like obviously may have like higher luck or higher RNG or have good RNG, I would definitely try to do this while boss rush is currently going on. Now we're going to go over the shops and the charms. For quickly, I do just want to let you guys know, for your for you newer players, I highly recommend that you save all of your Critical Strike and your Fatal Strike runes. I cannot stress this enough. Fatal Strike and Critical Strike seem to be the hardest runes in the game. For you guys that do need to see an image as reference, these are going to be both of the runes right here. See, as you guys can see, and I'm like a very experienced player, I currently only have one Critical Strike and only one Fatal Strike rune. So for you new players, I highly recommend saving these. If you are going to use them, make sure you are using them on a very, very good pet that you plan to keep on your team for a long time time but anyways when it comes to shops there are many different shops in the game but we are going to be focusing on four of them for you guys that are watching this after the easter event is over we're only going to be focusing on the, on the three but don't worry because i am going to include the easter one as the last one so if the easter event isn't still around you guys can just use the timestamps down below but anyways for the first prize corner you guys can see that we get a crap ton of elite mystery eggs we can get up to 25 for a total of 2500 if we do spend 5 million of these tokens which i'm going to go ahead and do because i need as many of these elite mystery eggs as possible so i can record a specific video now this is kind of garbage for me like this isn't really the best for me but i am going to grab these golden cherries because um they are a nice touch but again my shop isn't really the best at the moment for you guys that like farming your mini games i'd recommend once you guys run out of tickets go over here buy these three go use them and then just go farm the bosses for the rest of the tickets but this is only one of the shops, so we are going to head over to Sunset Shores, which is going to be our second shop. Sorry guys, I meant to say that we're actually going to head over to the Black Market. Now the Black Market is located right here. This is actually right next to Magma Basin. I'll show you guys where to go here in one moment. But the reason why we want to come here is because as you guys can see, we can get a bunch of good stuff, including critical hit runes, we can get fatal strike runes, we can get prismatic Sundays for like only 9 billion coins. We can get an absolute crap ton of really good stuff from the Black Market. So make sure you guys are checking this around every hour to two hours. Now to unlock this area, all you guys want to do is just make your way up to the top to the summit and then you're just going to want to jump down here to not a secret press that button a whole thing of parkour is going to pop up and then you're going to want to head over there and activate the beacon so you guys can teleport there but anyways with that out of the way now we are finally going to make our way over to sunset shore now the reason the Sunset Shores Trader is so important is because they actually most of the time have something called a prismatic Sunday sadly mine does not i will go ahead and buy these lucky elixirs even though i probably shouldn't but this shop is very very important because not only does it switch every hour but they also typically do have a prismatic sunday for ten thousand gems which is very very good especially for those players that like to farm and hatch eggs overnight now for the final shop which is actually the event easter shop if we head over here you guys will see that we can get a prismatic mystery egg for eight prismatic sundays which is not worth it do not waste your money on that we can get a golden cherry for five super lucky elixirs again do not waste your money on that and then we can go ahead and get a legendary cube i don't necessarily know if this is worth it so i might buy them just because i don't really need the cubes but um, the reason that this one is so important is because you can get a Prismatic Sunday for only three of the paintbrushes, and the paintbrushes really aren't that difficult to get. So make sure you guys are checking this, especially because you guys can get Elite Mystery Eggs, which is going to bring us to our second topic. I meant to say next, so I'm sorry for saying second, but anyways, like I just said, we're going to be going over how the best way to get elite mystery eggs inside of pet catchers. So like I said, the Easter shop is one of the best ways because you can get up to, I believe, like 10,000, 15,000 each time, and this typically resets every hour, but do be careful because you will have to use a metric crap ton of your lucky boosters. I actually used to have 3,000 of these just a couple days ago, and I've used so many on all of these eggs that I'm only down to 153, so make sure you guys are careful. But anyways, like I said towards the beginning of the video, yes, there is a stand over here that does look like this, but it actually has elite mystery eggs on it. Now, yes, it is a whopping 
50,000 gems, but if you guys do do the gem method I showed you guys in today's video, it should not be too difficult. And it is definitely worth it because the 50,000 gems will give you a whopping 50,000 elite mystery eggs, which is very, very useful. Now, the second best way to get these eggs is actually going to be from the prize counter because the prize counter, like I said earlier, you can get up to 200 or 2,500 of these for only 5 million of the arcade tokens. And if you guys do do my arcade token method, you guys should get an absolute crap ton within just a few minutes. Now, the next thing I'm going to go over is actually going to be the talent tree. Now, for you guys that don't know how to unlock this, first, you guys will have to unlock the arcade. Come over here to this door right here. I'm pretty sure this door is like 25 or 50 million. It's been a while since I last purchased it. But anyways, once you come in here, you guys are going to see something called a talent tree. Now, this talent tree actually opens, well, an entire tree worth of talents all the way up to luck. We can get more items in the um, shops. We can get more shrine items. We can get uh, boss cooldown, boss drops, we can get crits, which I'm actually currently trying to get at the moment. But do keep in mind, every single one of these points will cost you gems. Now, I've bought so many that every single point cost me a whopping 108,000 gems. And these typically tend to go up with every purchase. So say I purchased this, you guys can see that it went up to 824, which I believe I'm actually going to go ahead and throw this in egg speed. But don't or make sure you guys do remember because people always question, how do I get more HP? If we come down here, you guys can actually see that we can increase our health by a whopping 200, which will give us a total of 1,000 uh, actually, yeah, it'll give us a total of 1,000 health. I was going to say 1,200 for some reason. So make sure you guys are utilizing this and using this to your maximum capacity. If for you guys that do want more pets hatched, I'd highly recommend going up to the up or top or, or the up left. I'm sorry. Um, and you guys can also get the bro prismatics, which gives you two of them every 50 quests and same for the sailor quest. But my initial one that I tend to go for is the luck because, well, luck is going to be the next thing we talk about. So I'd highly recommend getting as much luck as possible, especially because you can get up to 1.1 times luck. Now, like I just got done saying, yeah, we're going to be focusing on luck next. Now, the reason we are currently on the summit in the Magma Basin is because I believe for a whopping 90 million or billion, I could be wrong, it could be more, you guys can go ahead and purchase this 1.1 times luck, which is very very crucial so make sure you guys do purchase this it doesn't matter if you don't it's just gonna well your odds aren't just gonna be the best and like i just showed you guys in the talent tree you can also get another 1.1 times for a total of 2.2 times now for you guys that did purchase the game pass that will be uh i believe 6.2 times because that game pass gives you um two times as well now if you guys also go ahead and look at your board you guys can sometimes see an event called a uh, lucky event now this lucky event will also add an additional times two to your luck for a total of 8.2 times luck so make sure you guys are using that now i've seen a lot of people say that oh extra boost doesn't work during an event actually yes it does but it's just not by much so if we go into my inventory you guys can see that i have something called the prismatic sunday i showed you guys how to get these early on in the video which will give us super lucky which will give us a different type of lucky so if you guys see that i use one of these potions you guys can see that down here i have regular lucky if i were to use one of these potions i would have something called a super lucky which is what these give these prismatic sundays but they give them to you for 20 minutes now, I'm not going to use this for the video because this is very, very overpowered, but this will give you feeling lucky, super lucky, and ultra lucky, which ultra lucky will give you a 2.5 times as well. I don't feel like doing the math, so if you do everything together, I'm just going to say you'll probably get around 13 to 14 times the luck if you do everything properly. And I don't even have the ultra luck equipped, and if I were to go into my eggs, and yes, I own the game pass, you can see that these pets over here are only a 1 in 6.5 million, when I'm pretty sure they're a 1 in 15 million without any of these boosts activated. Now the last thing I'm going to go over, which is probably the most important to an extent, is actually because I get asked this, I'm pretty sure every video and every stream I upload, how do you AFK on console? I do just quickly want to say to everyone watching this video, I do not AFK on console. I know, I understand. A lot of people like to ask me that, so I just want to debunk that right now. I do not AFK on console, but I will go ahead and show you guys my AFK method. So during the entire day, I will either do these bro quests or I'll do these sailor quests. Or I will use my method from the beginning or kind of towards the beginning of the video that I showed you guys on how to get unlimited gems. Now the reason I do that is because like I showed you in uh, a, a different part of the video, 
the way to get prismatic elixirs. Now, the reason we want prismatic elixirs is because, like I said earlier, it gives us super lucky. And if you're lucky enough, you can go ahead and buy these prismatic elixirs from this token shop over or the prize corner over here. I believe for only like 300,000 or 200,000, which is crazy because it gives you all these buffs for 20 minutes, which is absolutely insane. And then for the entire day, I will just sit here and constantly farm these, including these potions right here called the Super Lucky Elixirs. Now, you guys can also get these from going over here and trading in some of your runes to get some of these Lucky Elixirs. And then another location you can get these will actually be right here as well as some of the tokens. And then the last location that you can go ahead and get these is actually going to be over here at this little potion um, tome right here. But anyways, what I'd like to do is I like to use all of my boosts at once, and then I will get on my phone. Now, I do have an auto clicker on my phone, this cursor right here. I typically said, I'd say I put like the auto clicker right here, just so I could click, so I, you know, am clicking the screen so I don't get kicked. I don't press the jump button, because you can't press the jump button when you have the eggs open. I just put an auto clicker right here on my screen, just to keep me from getting kicked. And I have it to tick every five seconds. So it doesn't really matter what you guys set your tick to as long as it's not, I believe, up to 15 or 20 minutes. But anyways, after that, I just head over here to the stage with my friend Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Come over here because this is my favorite lucky spot. This is actually where I was able to hatch a Shadow Keeper and plenty of these pets. So I come over here, I pull out my eggs, put my auto clicker right here on the eggs because I don't want to click the ultra lucky. I put my auto clicker right here while auto hatch goes on. And then around every five seconds, I don't know if you guys can hear my controller typing, but every around like five seconds, I'll just, my, my auto clicker will automatically press so I don't get kicked. And that's pretty much my AFK method. Again, I do not do this on console. So I hope that does help some of you guys out that are wondering how you do it on console. I personally don't. I just let it run on my phone and I only record and stream videos using my PlayStation. But anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys did make it this far and did watch the full video, please let me know in the comments by typing GURK, G-U-R-K. Just type GURK in the comments without, and just, just no context. Just say it, because that tells me you guys watch this full video, which is actually crazy, because I think this is my longest video by a long shot, but you guys have been wanting a tips and tricks video for the longest time, so I hope this video did help you guys out. And if it did, please let me know by hitting the like button and commenting down below, because the support has been amazing. Also, thank you guys so much for 520 subscribers. That's absolutely crazy. But anyways, guys, if you guys are adding to the channel, please subscribe. Also, think about turning on post notifications so you never miss a future upload. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.